Select the proper IV solution and open the protective bag. Check the IV solution for expiration date, proper solution, and clarity. Select the proper administration set. Mini drips are 60 drops per milliliter. Maxi drips are 10 to 15 drops per milliliter. Tighten the stopcock. Remove the sterile stopper from the IV solution and the administration set. Be careful not to touch or contaminate either end. Insert the spike of the administration set into the IV bag port. Use a twisting motion. Turn the IV bag upright, squeeze the drip chamber and allow it to fill one half full of the IV solution. Open the stopcock and allow the IV line to fill with the IV solution. Be sure no air bubbles remain in the IV line. Open an IV start kit, which contains an alcohol prep, 2x2 gauze pad, tegaderm, tape, and a tourniquet. Select the proper IV catheter. The catheters usually range in size from 24 gauges to smallest, to 10 gauges the largest. A 22 gauge is selected for this demonstration. Don gloves in preparation of starting the IV. Check for likely sites to start the IV and place a tourniquet on the patient's arm. Select the vein where the IV catheter will be placed. Swab the site with the alcohol prep using widening circular motions. Do not swab back towards the middle of the site or touch the site once it has been prepped. Tear tape to appropriate lengths. These will be used to help secure the IV in place. This could be done now or upon opening your start kit. Remove the IV catheter from the protective sheath. Do not touch the distal end of the catheter. Advise the patient that you are going to make the stick. Note the angle of the catheter used for sticking this vein. Once you feel the pop, Check for the flash of blood in the flash chamber of the IV catheter. 
advance the catheter completely into the vein. The hub should rest at the insertion site. Remove and secure the needle. Place the needle immediately into a sharps container. Remove the tourniquet from the patient's arm. Maintain pressure on the vein to prevent blood from leaking through the hub. Attach the IV line to the IV catheter. Wipe any excess fluid or blood from the site. Secure the IV line to the IV catheter using the locking hub provided. Briefly flow the IV to make sure it is patent. Apply a tegaderm at the injection site. Place tape to secure the catheter end line. Make a loop in the IV line and secure with tape as an added safety precaution. Open the stopcock and adjust the flow rate for the IV. Once set, you can now continue care for the patient.